Is this the year you finally make the switch to an electric car? They're becoming increasingly popular, with many touting their environmental benefits and sleek designs. However, before you jump on the EV bandwagon, it's important to weigh all the options. While there are many reasons to consider an electric vehicle, there are also some factors that might make you hesitate. Let's explore five key reasons why you might not be ready to buy an electric car right now. Number five, price tag shock. So you've heard all about how EVs are the future, right? But here's the deal, they can be pretty pricey. Like, imagine you're eyeing the sleek new electric Chevy Blazer. You know, the one with all the eco-friendly bells and whistles? But wait for it, the sticker price can give you a bit of a shock. We're talking nearly $57,000 for the electric version, compared to around $35,000 for the good old gas-powered model. Why is it so expensive? Well, blame it on the batteries. They're like the heart of an EV, and they don't come cheap. Sure, they've gotten a lot more affordable over the past decade, dropping by a whopping 80%. But guess what? The savings haven't exactly trickled down to you and me, the average Joes and Janes. So, who are EVs really for? Well, here's the thing. When car makers first dipped their toes into the EV pool, they had a certain crowd in mind. The early adopters. You know, the people who are all about the latest and greatest gadgets. But here's the kicker. These early birds tend to have one thing in common, fat wallets. So what did automakers do? They decked out those early EV models with all the fancy features, from lightning fast acceleration to top-notch performance. Sounds cool, right? Well, it is, but it also comes with a hefty price tag. But before we talk about the price tags, if you're enjoying the content, like and subscribe for more and leave us a comment about what you'd like to see next. So here's the dealio. In 2023, the average Joe or Jane forked out around $53,000 for an EV. That's a whole 10% more than what people shelled out for regular gas guzzlers. And get this, it's nearly $12,000 more than the average price of a new gas-powered car. Ouch! Now, don't get us wrong, EVs are awesome. They're cleaner, greener, and all-around cooler. But here's the thing, until they start playing nice with our wallets, they might not be the best bet for us every day. So, if you're thinking about jumping on the EV bandwagon, you might want to pump the brakes for now. Number 4. The Depreciation Downfall So, you're thinking of splurging on a shiny new EV ride, thinking it's a solid investment, right? Well, not exactly. Here's the lowdown. EVs have a bit of a depreciation problem. Like, imagine losing half the value of your car in just five short years. That's the harsh reality for many EV owners. Let's break it down with some numbers. On average, EVs wave goodbye to a whopping 50% of their original value within just five years. And who's leading the pack in this depreciation derby? None other than the Tesla Model S. Taking a nosedive with a jaw-dropping 55.5% loss in value over the same period. Talk about hitting the brakes on your investment dreams. But wait, it's not just Tesla feeling the squeeze. Other EVs like the Chevy Bolt and the Nissan Leaf aren't far behind, shedding over half their value in just five years. Even Tesla's Model X and Model 3 are taking a beating in the depreciation game. Now, let's put things into perspective. While the average new car sees a depreciation of around 38% over five years, EVs are in a league of their own with that hefty 50% loss. Meanwhile, gas-powered vehicles like the Porsche 911 and the Toyota Tacoma are cruising along with much lower depreciation rates, around a measly 9.3%. So what's the takeaway here? Well, if you're eyeing an EV as your next big purchase, you might want to think twice. Sure, they're eco-friendly and all, but when it comes to holding on to their value, they're not exactly top of the class. Until the depreciation game levels out, you might want to keep your options open. Number 3. Interest Rates and Insurance Costs Sure, EVs are cool and all, but they can hit your wallet pretty hard. The cost of owning an EV can be sky high. We're not just talking about the sticker price, although that can be eye-watering. We're talking about everything that comes after you drive off the lot. So, you're probably thinking, what's the deal with interest rates? Well, let me tell you, they're not exactly playing nice. Banks are slapping on interest rates that make your head spin. 
We're talking upwards of 6%, which is a big jump from a few years back when it was more like 4%. What does this mean? You're shelling out way more every month just to pay off the loan. Think about it, $277 extra each month adds up fast. But wait, there's more. Insurance, yeah, that necessary evil that seems to drain your bank account every month. With EVs, it's even worse. Premiums can be through the roof, sometimes hitting thousands of dollars. Why? Well, it's a whole cocktail of reasons. For starters, fixing up an EV costs a pretty penny. Those fancy batteries? Pricey. And when they go kaput, you're looking at a bill that could make you faint. Plus, EVs have to meet stricter safety standards, which means even more moolah when it comes to repairs. And here's the more difficult part. Finding someone who knows how to fix these babies up isn't exactly easy. Most repair shops are geared toward gas guzzlers, so if your EV needs some TLC, you might be out of luck, or paying a premium for someone who knows what they're doing. Number 2. Low Reliability Score and Repair Costs Now, EVs are all the rage these days, promising a greener and more efficient future. But hold on a sec, before you rush out to buy one, there are some things you might want to consider. Picture this, you're cruising down the road in your brand new electric car, feeling all eco-friendly and modern. But then, suddenly, bam, you hit a snag. That fancy touchscreen infotainment system? It decides to go on a strike. And don't even get me started on the charging issues. Yep, welcome to the world of EV reliability woes. Now, in theory, EVs should be more reliable than their gas-guzzling counterparts. After all, they have fewer moving parts, which means fewer things to go wrong, right? Well, not quite. Despite the simplicity of their design, EVs are actually less reliable than traditional cars. Crazy, right? So what gives? Well, a big part of the problem lies in the software. You see, EVs are like giant computers on wheels. And just like your laptop or smartphone, they can be prone to glitches and bugs. From wonky infotainment systems to finicky charging setups, there's no shortage of headaches to be had. And here's the kicker. Fixing these issues can be a real pain in the rear. Sure, your car might still be under warranty, but good luck finding a dealer who knows how to deal with all the fancy software stuff. It's not uncommon for EV owners to find themselves stuck in limbo for weeks on end, waiting for their ride to get patched up. Take for instance the latest models from GM, like the Cadillac Lyric and the Chevy Blazer EV. These cars are packed with cutting-edge tech, but they've also been plagued by software gremlins. Dealers are scratching their heads, customers are getting frustrated, and production lines are grinding to a halt. Not exactly a smooth ride, right? So what's the takeaway here? Well, if you're thinking about jumping on the EV bandwagon, you might want to pump the brakes for now. Sure, they're sleek, they're silent, and they're oh-so-eco-friendly. But until the kinks get ironed out, you might be better off sticking with good old gasoline power. Number 1. Battery Replacement Cost Anxiety Let's talk about battery replacement cost anxiety for a minute. Yeah, that might sound a bit technical, but stick with us, it's important. So here's the deal. EVs run on batteries, just like your smartphone or your laptop. And like any battery-powered device, these batteries don't last forever. They typically have a lifespan of around 10 to 15 years. Now, that might seem like a decent amount of time, but here's the kicker. Once the battery capacity drops below 70% of its original level, it's time for a replacement. Now you might be thinking, okay, no big deal, I'll just swap out the battery when the time comes. Well, here's where it gets tricky. The cost of replacing an EV battery can be pretty hefty. We're talking thousands of dollars, and that's on top of any other maintenance or repairs your EV might need over the years. And here's the thing, even if your EV is still under warranty, most warranties only cover battery replacement for a certain number of years or miles. So, if your battery kicks the bucket after the warranty period is up, you're on the hook for the full cost. Now, you might be wondering why EV batteries are so expensive to replace. Well, it all comes down to technology. EV batteries are still relatively new and cutting edge, which means they're not cheap to manufacture. 
plus the size and type of battery your EV needs can also affect the cost. So, what does all this mean for you as a potential EV owner? Well, it means you need to be prepared for the possibility of shelling out thousands of dollars down the line for a battery replacement. And that's something a lot of guys might not be too keen on. But wait, there's more! You see, this whole battery replacement thing has a big impact on the resale value of EVs. Because let's face it, nobody wants to buy a used car that's potentially facing a hefty repair bill in the near future. So unlike traditional gas-powered cars, which tend to hold their value pretty well, EVs can depreciate faster, making them a less attractive option for some buyers. Now before you start panicking and swearing off EVs altogether, let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. EV technology is constantly evolving, and as it becomes more mainstream, we can expect to see improvements in battery lifespan and cost. Plus, as the charging infrastructure continues to expand, owning an EV will become more convenient and accessible for everyone. So, while it might not be the right time for everyone to make the switch to an EV, it's definitely something worth keeping an eye on as the technology continues to advance. And who knows, in a few years' time, we might all be zipping around in electric cars without a care in the world. But for now, it might be worth holding off until the technology matures a bit more. Alright, that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.